Spy Monkey Creations, Battle Tribes, Klyos Compatible Figures, and I got a couple of them. This Barbarian Warrior, and this flesh-colored uh, version of the Barbarian Warrior that comes with a bunch of alternate heads. So, the universe of Glyos compatible figures has expanded, and it's expanded in a really appealing way. If you like uh, He-Man Masters of the Universe, if you like, you know, Swords and Sorcery, if you like Barbarians, if you like um, fantasy, orcs, all sorts of creatures, you uh, will like these little guys. And I say little because they are on the smaller size when it comes to Glyos compatible um, figures. I'm going to stand them up next to some of the uh, other Glyos compatible figures that I have. That's uh, Calgrim. See, he's taller. Uh, Armavar is about the same size, but chunkier. Um, and uh, this guy is also bigger. Kabuto Mushi is also bigger. And he's he, he's even smaller than than Fade and Combo Fade in there. So um, Spy Monkey Creations also gives you some nice accessories. Um, this comes with a shield that fits into the hand there really nicely. It also comes with a mace and an axe and a sword, which um, I'll just show you here real quickly. Uh, let me grab those. Stand up, Barbarian. All right. Awkward silence, which I will fill in with terrible singing as I get the accessories for this guy. Okay, uh, he comes with a little sword. Awesome, you can't have a barbarian without a sword, right? He also comes with a mace, which is good for all that skull-crushing blunt force trauma action. He comes with a axe. Battle X. So he's totally, totally armed to the teeth. And he also comes with a bunch of alternate heads, which um, are kind of fun as well. Um, I'm going to show you uh, this guy who's an uh, unpainted version that came for 10 bucks. I figured I would customize this guy and paint him up myself and save 5 bucks in the process because believe it or not, these little guys are 15 bucks. And that's not unusual with Glass compatible figures because they are expensive to make. Um, but it, 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 it's, it's, it's getting up there. It's getting up there, 15 bucks for a figure of this size. Um, but um, I was happy with that because you got alternate heads so you could make alternate figures as well. This is, the, um, this is one of the painted uh, versions of the heads that came with this guy. And um, you also got a orc head with blue eyes. So you could pop that on the barbarian head. You got this warrior that has a fox mask on or a wolf mask. Anyway, that was also very cool. And you also got this triceratops head so it's kind of like Triceracops from the um, Triceracop from the movie. You also get this um, other head, which is uh, Barney the dinosaur head. It's not Barney the dinosaur head, but it's somewhat reminiscent of that. So, see any of these? You pop off the Glyos head, and you pop it on, and you have oops. Sorry, you have a new version of that particular warrior. You can also take off the legs. You can take off the boot, which is kind of a pirate boot, boot with a cuff, and the crotch piece as well. And, and you know, build build them accordingly. Now the unpainted heads was a good deal. So um, here's what the unpainted painted barbarian head came with. So if you're good at painting stuff up, D 
detailing stuff, you can paint these guys any way you want. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn his boots orange and his um, furry loincloth orange, and I'm going to tan him up a bit, and I'm going to make a healthy man from the Champions of the Universe custom. So that's uh, the first Battle Tribes offering. I only got these two guys. I didn't get the rest of them. But there's a number of different colors, and they were so successful that I think they sold out in less than seven minutes, and they'll be making more. So it looks like this is a big hit for Spy Monkey Creations. Congratulations to them. Um,